My love is everlasting Ever, ever. Everlasting to everlasting ever, oh, ever. Girl, you make me your great my tactics oh, How long? Oh, How long are we going at this? How long are we going at this? Yeah Rock it up, fuck it up Your figure exceptional What you're working on Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blocks And at the home of African Boxing And please, if you're new to this channel Make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. And also don't forget to click the notification bell icon so that your opinion banger and you will definitely be notified. Let's get straight to it without hesitation. So, where the hand is near, the hand is near. Um, um, for the former Unified Away King. Of the universe to Joshua. Joshua is 35 now. Remember when he said that he only has five years in boxing? Oh, uh, really had five years in boxing and uh, he plans to retire at the age of 35. Well, Joshua is still very strong and going hard. Joseph Parker called him out um, recently. And in his usual, you know, very <laughs> interesting way. I liked it though. <laughs> I don't know if this. So yes, Joseph Pago. Called Jojo out. And basically, he also called um, Dillian one out. Anyways. Or just of, if Joseph Parker thinks he beats Anthony Joshua, he must be joking. He doesn't. I'm out of touch. I don't. I don't care how good Joseph Parker has become. He doesn't beat Joshua. Joshua is not the underwater, bro. I'm just saying that. But a good thing is, Joshua is back. Is <laughs> back. Um. In training working basically to get back and fight he's always in shape anyway it's normal to say yeah he's back now but I love to see when fighters get in that mode and never leave that mode of fit of fit Anthony Joshua is a dangerous one like and Anthony Joshua that has a full time dedication for the sport of boxing that is active as a fighter is is almost unbeatable so Joshua saying that yeah he has got two years left in the game before he retires and then he of course reacting to that what would Joshua's legacy be like if he retires in two years time without achieving his aim that is him becoming undisputed world champion where would you run Joshua in the all time top 10 um, everywood list where would you put him well well not every not every, not every everywood became you know undefe um, undisputed However, Joshua, there's a lot of work Joshua has to do. Joshua needs to fight, need to beat water. Not because, yeah, he needs water as his, his resume, but because the rivalry between them was so huge. It was for like, listen, we talked about the fight getting made for five years and we didn't get it. So we need to see the outcome of that fight. I believe Joshua, the Joshua, the current Joshua beats water all day, but he does need water. He does, he does need to put the water fans, um, the fanboys. I'm a water, I'm a water fan, but the fanboys, those ones that are very like fanat the fanatics, in their place. So they will say, "Oh, what what ha what would have happened if both fought?" No, we want to see them fight. 
um water needs to build his name back up fighting john jilay and if if he beats john jilay if is a big if cuz john jilay is a monster himself that fight gets made and it's a big fight again so let's just see what happens water himself is back in back uh, back in training with mali scott which i think is um i don't know man i don't know what i feel about mali scott I don't think Manesco is the right trainer for Water. I don't think he had anything exceptional on Water's on Water's game to Water's game. I don't think he does that. But that's just my own opinion because his last performance was very uninspiring. It didn't show any there was no grill, there was no no urge, you know, no urgency. to deliver to at least do something in the later rounds or usually water when it's like losing on the scorecard he tend to start being aggressive a little bit and he start throwing his right hand more he didn't even throw any against parker so water is basically you know yeah i think joshua needs to fight water he needs to fight fury he needs to fight usik for the third time And after that he can retire. If he doesn't fight those guys before he retires, it will look a little bit cuz the two wins Usyk has over over Joshua. Yeah, we, we wouldn't have very resume but it will make people think some some way. And I know Joshua can beat Usyk. He just didn't implement the right game plan. Game plans in in, in those two fights. The first one was you know were very easy for Usyk the second one Usyk felt the ferocity Usyk was hurt to the body Joshua knows Usyk now sometimes you have to you have to fight people multiple times to get their number and i believe a third fight between Joshua and Usyk to try guess that i believe so but you never know this boxing So Fury fight is a must basically even though Joshua has the best resume in the MMA division currently you know but that Fury fight is a must it has to happen so, so those are those are three key fights that Joshua needs to have the rest is already beaten almost like look at just was resume bro come on is stacked with former world champions with current top 10 uh, fighters in it with even the future of boxing in it like these are guys that might dominate but i still don't see who would dominate the division after Joshua Fury or the Usi retires I'm not really impressed with these new guys coming other than Emmanuel Diaz or Diaz is very technical very good his power still needs to be worked on but is getting there so two years from now how many times will you fight this year now probably going to fight once again or twice like i said joshua needs to be active not fighting once or twice a year he needs to fight more this is that that's how we get you know i've noticed something jo, the the more active joshua is the more dangerous he is and the more you see a lot of uh, uh, improvement in his game or a guy that fights one one once a year like once a year fighting once a year is not it for Joshua you know like you can just tell because in the in the in this uh, in the beginning when he turned pro he fought multiple times a year so that's the reason why he was getting better and better and better and better and better, and better until he 
he became a world champion and just started like fighting once a year. So, because he was going up and down in weight and stuff like that. So he needs to stay in shape. In a fighting shape. A T fighting shape. To get the best result. That's how I see it, guys. What do you guys make of this? But if you just subscribe and uh, God bless your followers, so supporting now. Uh, BBC. Cheers. Girl, you make me agree my tactics. Oh, how long? Oh, how long are we going at this?